Okay, today we're going over the basic setup of Edmodo and going over a few of the features that it has. So first thing, come to edmodo.com. We're going to log in to the website. You can log in using the username or email, whichever one works for you. Um, and then once it loads, it's going to come to your home page. And up here you can see you have home, profile, account. And I, like I said in the previous video, uh, this is very similar to a Facebook page. You have your, your wall here, and what's going to be posted on your wall is any uh, pertinent information. Um, and what you see right now are posts from me uh, to the student, or to the class, I should say. Uh, and it could be anything from a note saying, welcome to the class, or it could be an assignment, or it could even be a quiz. Uh, and so what we see is the wall kind of allows you to see what's going on, what you need to know. Uh, if we look in the upper left hand corner, profile picture, this is a very basic one, it's very easy to change by going to account and going to settings, I'm not going to go over that. Um, here you can see groups uh, and the only one I'm currently in is World History 1. Uh, groups would probably most likely be a class and then um, if the class is split up even into smaller groups, it would show up here. Um, what you can do from here are lots of things. One is making a post, just like you would on Facebook. You, s you start typing um, in a post here, uh, and you can attach files, links, um, and then you can choose who to send it to, whether it's an entire group like World History 1, whether it's to a teacher, or another student you're connected to. So it really allows you to um, simplify uh, who you're sending messages to and who are going to see them. If you look over on the right hand side, this yellow sticky note, these are your notifications. And So like right now it's telling uh, this student they have one assignment due, uh, they have a new alert, and one quiz assigned. All of which can be seen right here. Um, like I said, it's very uh, intuitive, it's very similar to Facebook, and so playing around with it, you'll learn a lot. A few of the other things you'll notice, uh, up here, we see calendar, grades, and library. If we look at the calendar, for instance, it's going to bring you up a class calendar. And right now, you only have one group, which would be World History 1 for this student. And what they see on their calendar is they have an, uh, an assignment due on the 12th and a quiz that's due by the 6th. And so the calendar allows you to keep track of what's due, what's not, things that are going on. Same thing with grades. If we click on grades, and if you had more than one class that you were in, it would show up. But we only have one, so we're going to click on it. And right now we only have one assignment due. And... Um, as you can see, it gives the due date, the name of the assignment, and also the fact that you haven't turned it in. So what we see is um, Edmodo is uh, very similar to Facebook, like I've said a few times now, um, but it's more geared towards education, communication, um, not only between teachers and students, but also um, for assignments, quizzes, and things of that nature. Um, if we were to click on home, it'll take you back to your home page where you will see your wall. Um, the other thing we have is the profile. And I have not done anything with this profile, so this is similar to how yours would work. You can change your about. Um, uh, you can change your picture. Um, and then you'll see who you're connected to, how many groups you're in, and so on and so forth. Uh, so that's the basic setup of Edmodo. Uh, it's very simple to use. Um, if you're used to Facebook or other things similar, you really won't have a tough time with this program, or with this website, I should say. 